All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai 922. All right, now I don't want to throw shit at Mappa. I really don't. This is Hell's Paradise, episode thirteen: Dreams and Reality. Okay. Let's start off with the good. The fight against the transformed Tenzin. I think they got his name here. Let me go down real sick. Sorry about that. Get his actual name up. Mudan. Right. Mudan. So, as we saw, Shion, you know, the blind swordsman, he shows up. And they're going to fight the transformed state of them. And what's his face? Center? I think his name? He's pretty much. Well, he's there. They healed him the best they could with his transforming state with the flowers. But he does. Yeah, he's on Death's Door. But he does support them in a very good role later on in the fight. Shion's doing the best he can to fight this thing. And he's holding his own. But Sugiri wants to intervene and help him further. But Yuzuraha, they're able to do this. It seems like they have a way to win. To kill it. But there's a problem. See, Sugiri basically tells Shion about the their naval weak spot. But at the last minute, and it was a good fight. It was, it was a pretty good fight. Sugiri showed her own. She's finally grown to a good extent to to uh, find her own team wise and use Tao and, and so on and so forth. And what ends on happening is, as I said, Senta, he comes back. He's in pain. He's on death's door. But he tells she, uh, Shion to attack. It's basically when you look into a flower and you have the center of it to attack that spot. That's where the weak point is. He does. And he's able to kill him. Kill one of the Tenzin. So, battle's over. It seems like they've won. Now, they obviously said goodbye to Senta. He's, he's done. Yuzuraha says a few dawning words to him and so on and so forth. And, you know, that was good. My problem with this final episode are two things. Number one, we don't really focus on Garden Maru. We don't. We focus on Sugiri, Yuzura, Shion. That's who we focus on. As they're walking after burying Sento, they approach, we do see Gabimaru, and he wakes up, scared or something, and jumps back. He sees Dragon of the, the Bloody Dragon guy, Mei, Mei, and Fushi. And he's like asking, oh, your reflex is like the cat, and so on and so forth, something wrong. He's looking around. We go back to... Gary, and I don't just want to say this right now. User, uh, yeah, I think uh, I don't like her in this scene. We go back to them. They go to this area where there's like an open area, and there's like a, uh, a temple, and he can change clothes. And user, uh, talks to Sigiri about you know the elixir, and saying, "Oh, the 
you know, Shion even says he, he doesn't believe that the Shogun will pardon Ava by saying that they couldn't find it. Yuzuha talks to her about Gabimaru, that Gabimaru's plan, his elder, seem to be immortal. And now Yuzuha, all of a sudden now, is going to play the It's an Illusion. Now I know the episode's called Dreams and Reality, but you're telling me in the final episode of this series, of this season of this anime, you guys are going to pull that card. Really? The, oh, it's an illusion. And to make matters worse, people who use Tao, Tao is the essence of life. So you use too much of it, something happens to you. But the guy who looks like talks like Bakugo, he obviously is changing for the worse. He's mentally he meant he's mentally unstable probably or physically. There's another thing that happens we use tap at a certain point. You lose your memories. And User Hub goes on to say, oh, how do you know he has a wife? Did he ever tell you her name? Did you ever see her? Really? We're doing this? So, by your logic, Gabi Maru, and listen, I, people want to fight me in the comments? Fight with me. Gabi Maru's existence on this island, doing what he's doing, is now pointless. I mean when I say that. If he has no memories of his wife and has no memories of why he's there, then why does, is he there for? What point is it? That's what the anime does. Now, it probably is in the manga. Fine. But I'm going to say this right now. I'm reading this manga and I don't give a shit. I'm going to read it. And find out what happens to him. Because this is what I like to call a stupid ending. I, I hate to say it. I really do. But it's a cliffhanger. And <laughs> this anime, it's not coming back for a while. At least late 2024, 2025. From what I understand. And that's what they plan on. With user Huss stating that. And I'm like, okay, so... What's the point? If he's losing his memories and he doesn't know why he's there and we, we he's supposed to see his wife, she's not there. And then the later the episode, rest of the episode is Sugiri feeling bad about Gabimaru, talking to Shion about it. And the next thing we see of Gabimaru He's questioning who these people are. And then May looks at him. And you know what she sees? She can see people's towel. So. She sees the towel white. The white towel in him. But when you look at his head. It's gone. Which is basically stating. His memories. Are gone. Then he goes outside, and like I said, he kind of supposedly sees his wife, but she's not there. We do get an end credit scene in the episode. It's nothing. It's this other Yamada uh, executioner is going to go to the island. That's it. Uh, listen, I don't want this to be a rant. But this is a bad ending. I'm sorry. To people who are watching this and like it, honestly, I should give this a really low review. The ending is bad. The fight is good, but the ending is bad. And it gives us a bad taste in our mouths regarding the main character. It does. 
Now, I know you want to say, there's two main characters, Sagiri and Garimaru. That's all well and good. But when you focus on one main character and you just throw the other main character out the window, I have questions. So if I'm going to review this again, <laughs> I got to read the manga. I'm serious. Because this ending is a cliffhanger. That is what this ending is. And we're not going to get it until for a while. At least a year. A year. And this is how you end it? No. This series, animation-wise, was good. Music was good. I, I can't get this any more than an eight, eight and a half. I'm sorry. The episode with the fight. Overall, the episode gets an eight and a half out of ten. I'm sorry if it's low, but that ending. It, I'm sorry, but this is our main character, and he's losing his memories. And I do not see. You see, it's like, are you freaking kidding me right now? So is there? I just want to know: is there any freaking point to Gabi Maru's character? Because I don't think there is. Listen, I hate for people to go to this video and uh, dislike it. But I'm just saying. At best, this show is an 8 out of 10. Maybe 8.5 out of 10. But that ending totally derails it. I'm sorry. It does. And it tells me that I don't see how you can salvage this. I haven't read the manga, so I don't know. But this manga cut sounds like he's trying to throw God Maru through the meat grinder. That's what it sounds like to me. I read the manga, though, past the anime, so I don't know. But I'm going to read it. And if I find out he gets shitted on, oh boy, skip. Yes. I don't watch season two. His goal was to go to the island, get the elixir, so he could be with his wife. If his wife isn't real, or he has no memories of her, then what's the freaking point? I don't see the point. I mean, you could say, and I will, I'll say one thing good about also, Sagiri, yeah, she got some more development. I, I enjoyed that. But I don't like this thing with God and Naro. I think this is bullshit. Bullshit of the highest regard. And I understand Tao is a life source. But you didn't have to take away his memories. Was that necessary? Oh, he's God and Naro the Hollow. So, this guy... He's not gonna know anybody. So, okay, so, sorry, Manga Cub, but I got a question. What's the point of his character? He's your main lead. So, if he has no memories of his wife, of his ninja clan, and of the people he's surrounded with, then is there any point? What's the point? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not seeing the point here. That, that's my gist on the episode. I, I'm sorry if this is turning into a rant. I thought the fight was good and everything else, but it's a cliffhanger. I don't like cliffhangers like this. It, it's irritating beyond belief. I mean, Ancient Magus Pride, that's coming back in the fall, and I'm happy about that. But this show, Mappa, listen, sorry, but you got to cut back on some of these animes. They're animating way too much, and I don't want to blame the animators. Really, I want to blame the manga, because it sounds to me like he just takes Darby Maru, and like I said, put him, puts him through the meat grinder. I don't know. Like I said, that's my, my final review. Uh, on this whole take, because it just seems to me like Gabi Maru 
all ends point to tragedy. That's what it seems like to me. Like he's not going to get out of this. It's going to be a horrible ending. He's probably not going to... He's... It, it's like... It's it's pointless. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said... I say 8.5 out of 10. The episode... Maybe 9. 8.5 out of 10. So the series 8.5 out of 10. And the episode 8.5 out of 10. Final episode. I just did not like... I hate... I hate cliffhangers. When they ended like this, and they ended on this reveal, and it's just like, really? Dreams are reality? So it's a dream. He doesn't have a wife. So what's the freaking point of him being there? Sorry if it feels that way, but that's what it feels like me. This is Bonkai 2. See you guys later. Peace.